Hey there and welcome to my tutorial about how to draw arbitrary shapes. As you can hear, I am still sick, it's been only about one hour since I did my last recording, so yeah, it's not enough time for me to recover. Therefore there will be again a lot of jump cuts because I have to cough a lot. Anyways, let's start with the drawing. Alright, I have here the shape that I want to draw in perspective, a star and my drawing area. And again, if you haven't watched my previous videos about 1, 2 and 3 point perspective, then I highly recommend that you watch them and there is a link uh, in the upper right corner. Now what we have to do is we have to determine a grid that is helping us with the drawing process. And this is what I did here. Uh, what I did is I translated these positions of these corners and projected them onto these lines here and these marks are going to be very useful when also using the measurement points. Now I have the grid over here and at this corner we want to start the drawing uh, and I also added the thickness of the star. And now we are going to draw the basic cuboid that is surrounding this star by using the measurement points and connecting them with these ends here. And then just simply draw the lines of the cuboid itself. As always, I highly, highly recommend that you are using different colors for the different lines because it can get very confusing. Well, it depends on what kind of tools you're using. Maybe you don't have the option of using different colors. Then maybe uh, use different thicknesses or um, brightnesses. Uh, but you have to be able to distinguish the different lines, otherwise it gets so confusing, I tell you. Uh, this one is uh, more of a simpler drawing, but it can get very, very complicated. Now I want to project this grid here onto this line, and we're going to use the measurement point again, and simply connect all of these marks with measurement point right on. Alright. And then we are simply going to draw very quickly the basic grid. I don't have to draw a grid line for here because it's just the corner of the star. Very simple and very quick to do. Alright. And now we have to look at our diagram again and see which points of this grid here are the corners of the star and then pretty simply connect them. It's almost as simple as drawing by numbers and very quick to do. Alright, that's it. Now all uh, that I have to do is here drawing these lines here. And I also have to translate the thickness of the star over here. So it's a little bit of an extra work, but that's fine. And it's kind of cool because every different shape has its own different ways uh, of how you are successfully able to draw them and there is more there's always more than one way for example I could simply translate uh, the grid onto the back line here and then draw the second star uh, so yeah you can use whatever way is the best suited one for yourself and I'm going to just use this method here right now so I don't have to draw these other lines here and now I'm going to outline the star it's again very simple to do just connect all of the correct points that are visible for us and that's simply it and yeah so uh, I also colored everything and I'm done with this drawing. It is not very hard to just simply translate these very simple shapes uh, uh, into a perspective grid and just 
uh, do it this way. But of course it also works for more complicated shapes and I'm going to show you an example. So I looked for famous buildings which are still simple enough to draw and I stumbled onto this blueprint which is the blueprint of the One World Trade Center. Um, I also uh, played with the thought of maybe drawing the Big Ben or some other famous skyscraper but uh, in the end I chose this one because geometrically it's quite interesting because it has this uh, uh, square at the top and then another square at the bottom but it is rotated 45 degrees and it is of the size so that from this corner here to this middle part here it's just a straight line down and, but here it's going more forward and um, it's a nice challenge, uh, a nice puzzle as to say uh, and we're going to do this one and of course this is going to uh, take a long time uh, and I'm just going to fast forward. I simply do it because I want to show you what other things and more advanced things you can do with these techniques. And again I drew myself a uh, grid but this time not from a corner of this uh, shape here but from the middle uh, and I'm going to use this and this is also a thing that I want to say you don't always have to use the lower front corner of the shape that you want to draw you can choose any corner or pretty much any point you want as your initial point where you are going to start drawing uh, it's completely up to you and in this case I chose the middle point here and I chose this one because it's going to be useful for drawing both these kind of squares and again I'm going to draw it in a different kind of perspective here in the drawing area uh, in this case again three point perspective all right I will start now and I will get back to you when I'm done and also explain to you what I did. All right. And I'm done. This was a quite interesting puzzle to solve. So what I did was I drew the square on top of here by at first drawing these lines uh, on both sides. So you can use the measurement point uh, in two directions. Uh, and so I was uh, connecting um, the right measurement point with the left end, uh, but also with the right end, but going a little bit uh, over it. And so therefore, if you would draw the line uh, from here then you can draw it until you connect with the line but also to here and this way I was drawing the square right here on top and I projected this square on top of here down here and constructed with this square this uh, bigger square which is 45 degrees rotated. Now what you could also do, for example, is uh, that you use two different uh, kind of um, perspective sets. That is, uh, for the left and the right vanishing point, uh, at first I have two, uh, one set of left and right vanishing point for this square here, and then another set for uh, the squares down here, and also uh, for these lines here we have the first set, and for these lines here we would have the second set. Um, however, I did not do it this way, but instead, for example, for these uh, lines here, the, the, the window lines, uh, I make it a little bit uh, more visible, the red lines, uh, I was instead simply connecting the lines to each other, and they are exactly the same and um, they have the same number because of course the number of floors is the same on each side and therefore I was just simply connecting each side with each other uh, and created the uh, correct pattern that is uh, correct in a perspective manner and so this is also a way 
On top of here, I used what I explained, explained in the previous tutorial. I created the uh, circular shapes this way. And yeah, these are pretty much all the secrets. But I'm not explaining how I drew this here, because uh, this is very tool specific. And I always say that my tutorials are supposed to be useful for everybody, not just people who are using digital media or uh, even just people who are using the same program as I do. So yeah. So the drawing with the skyscraper, the one world trade center, uh, which was built to kind of spite terrorism uh, and has a strong message in it. Um, it took quite a while, however, not that much. It took me some hours, uh, but because of the program that I'm using, uh, it doesn't take that long to draw all the lines. I can do it very quickly, but if you're using traditional media, you have to consider uh, that you always have to uh, move around the ruler and stuff like that. So uh, it uh, it most surely would take much longer. Um, so yeah, and I don't know about other programs too. Uh, but speaking of, um, let's get to the Q&A section. And this time I have a question, which is, what program is it that you use for this? So let's take a look at the program. Uh, I'm using Clip Studio Paint, which is my favorite program. Before that I was using Manga Studio from the same makers, they just renamed it. Uh, and I tried a lot of programs actually. I also tried Photoshop and Corel Painter and, and, and Krita. Um, however, this one was still the best for myself because you can draw very well. It doesn't. It isn't maybe not the best for painting. Probably for painting, it is uh, Photoshop or Corel Painter uh, are more uh, more well suited. But this program here has a lot of very useful tools for drawing. Like for example, uh, many very useful rulers with, with which you can draw parallel lines very easily or symmetric lines uh, or in this example um, perspective lines uh, you can make a perspective ruler and set the vanishing point exactly where you want them you can also infinitize vanishing points so every line is just parallel uh, all of this stuff and you can customize brushes very easily and most recently it also implemented the ability to animate stuff However, for the big animations that I do, I use another program, uh, which is called TV Paint. And I could go on and on and explain more about these programs, but uh, this would take too long, and it's also not the point of the show here. So, and the question for you. So, there are these kind of tasks which are very uh, monotonous, very tedious, kind of. Uh, like, for example, what I did just now, drawing every single line one after another and there are hundreds of lines to draw um, but for some people these kind of tasks have a very kind of a relaxing uh, effect to them and so yeah what is your kind of task that is like this do you have something in drawing or painting which is like that or maybe some other kind of stuff let me know down below and of course as always if you have any questions feedback or requests for me then please let me know in the comment section and if you want to support this show then you can check out my patreon page i would really very highly appreciate it you can see in the outro that I added the names of my patrons which support me and you can also appear there and also get some other uh, neat rewards. Alright then, have fun drawing!